Hey guys, and welcome back to my world. Right, so uh, the other day I was showing you about how to detect um, the block you're standing on. And now I've actually taken this to a slightly, well, the next kind of level. Now, you'll see over here I have a carpet, and underneath the carpet I have a monster block. So if I hold my mouse over it, you'll see monster block on the side. Okay, so basically, uh, I'm doing exactly the same. I'm checking for the block directly underneath me, and if I find a monster block, um, I then replace that block with air, which will cause this carpet to break, and then that carpet then starts issuing commands. Right, and in this case, I have three colored carpets here. I've got a red carpet, a yellow carpet, and a red uh, and a black carpet. Now, each carpet does something or does a different jump boost effect. Now, it can be anything. It can be any carpet can do any any executable command it can do. Okay, so just first of all, the yellow carpet gives me a five block jump boost. Okay, the red carpet gives me a 10 block jump boost. Okay, and the black carpet gives me a 20 block jump boost. Okay, now immediately I can hear a number of you going, yes, but why don't I, I put a pressure pad on a command block and just have the command block run, run it. Now, that is fine. You can do that if you have single instances of this, but I want these three different jump pads to be uh, spread across about 15 different maps and at any one time if I want to go okay I want to make the black one 15 blocks uh, 15 jumps instead of um, instead of the 20 block uh, or 20 strength um, all I need to do is go and change one command block and every single uh, pad on the map uh, will be changed to that so it's one place I can change everything and it's completely and utterly multiplayer friendly now just to show you what I mean so for example if I were to just do a bit of speed over here and I do my 20 block jump you can see that works perfectly if I do speed and I do the red one you'll see that's the 10 block and if I do the yellow one that's the five that's the five block okay there we go okay so um, it works on exactly the same principle as I said before um, except there's a few more command blocks added to this. So first off, okay, you'll see it is sponge because I actually had it as sponge in the beginning, but it's actually a, a monster egg. So if, once again, I'm going to be executing one block beneath me, beneath any entity. Once again, as I said before, you can have any player selector, you can have scoreboard selector, you can have player selector, whatever. I just set it to any entity. Okay, um, it's going to fill a one block underneath me. It's going to do a fill command. It's going to look for a monster block. Okay, so a monster block that is got a damage value of two, which is the um, which is which is the stone, which is the um, stone bricks. Okay, so it's going to look for that, and it's going to replace it with air. Now, when it replaces that with air, the carpet underneath it will break, and the carpet will fall, and it will be an item. So the next thing is I'm going to be checking for three separate colors of these items. Okay, so the first one is I'm going to execute at, at any entity. Um, I should actually do this as player, so just make this as player. At any player, I'm going to set the scoreboard for any item. Okay, that's within a 10 block radius. Uh, that is a... Minecraft carpet with a damage value of four, okay, which is the um, the yellow carpet. So I'm going to set the block scoreboard objective to one. So only the yellow carpet will have a scoreboard objective of one. If it is a red carpet, in other words, it's got a damage value of 14, I'm going to set the scoreboard objective for block for that item to two. I'm just, let me just change this to player as well while we're going along. And then for the black one I'm going to be setting it for three and the black is damage value 14 so I think you can kind of see where we going with this okay then the next thing we're going to do is we have our three up of the three things that will happen when we find that particular carpet now once again you can do any number of actions on that carpet anything at all I am just doing a uh, for if if the carpet has a score of one it's going to uh, give the player a five um, jump boost okay if the the carpet is has a, a block objective score of two it's going to give them a 10 and if the carpet has a, a block score of three it's going to give them 20 okay so this is the yeah so this is what then that does the various things next um, if the block is one, it's going. Oh, sorry. If 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 the block, oh, if the item has a minimum score of one, so all of the carpets. 
so all three of the carpets has a minimum score of one it will then set a monster egg at minus one uh, to that carpet it will then set block a monster egg so it just puts the egg back okay and then we have the three re three replaces again so what it now will do is if it is a, a if the score for the block is three it will then set block a carpet 15 if it is uh, one it'll do carpet four and if it is two it'll set block carpet with a damage value of 14 and then last but not least it, it, it will then kill any items that has a minimum score of one and that just kind of replaces the whole thing so if i do stand on these you'll see the carpets going mad but you'll see it's not actually in my inven inven inventory because it is um being deleted within a game tick okay and you'll see the little potion bubbles is applied to me so that i know that i have a massive massive jump boost okay that's it. Now the nice and cool thing about this is if you if you were to place this, you don't all you need to do is say, okay, fine, I want a yellow carpet here. I break the block underneath it and it'll it, it'll it'll immediately set this up as a jump boost. Okay. Right? Uh, if I want a red one over here, let's put a red one over here, up, over there, I break it and it'll set it up as a red one. And yeah, come on, and there we go. And if I want a black one over here, I just set it up as a black one right and there we go and that's it <laughs> it's absolutely cool guys thank you very very much for watching this map a version of this map will be downloaded this is part of map in a box so uh yeah it'll be downloaded it'll be up for download so check it out guys thank you very much for watching and as always i will check you all later